Hi there, this is Chris from PC Gamer. Welcome to No Trace, which is a Dishonored Diary series where I'm trying to beat all of the game's missions while making everything look like a terrible accident, leaving no direct evidence of Corvo's involvement at all. Now, we're here taking on the High Overseer in the game's first sort of open-ended mission, but first off, we've got to complete the secondary objective to free Martin, who's one of the loyalists, who's here having a little catty fight with uh, one of the Overseers. Now, my main power I'm about to illustrate is Devouring Swarm. Now, earlier in the mission, I picked this up and put it to some use while doing a side quest for Granny Rags. Now, I'm trying to limit the side quest I will allow myself to do simply to try and maintain the theme of the playthrough, right? Um, I can't really work for Slackjaw the Gangster because he knows who you are, he knows sort of what you're, well, if not what, who you are, then what you're capable of, and frankly, going up and talking to guys about how you're going to go kill people and steal things for them kind of gives the game away a bit. But Granny Rags is not only blind, but she's directly connected to the outsider, which means she's kind of in on it anyway, so I figure it's okay to work for her. Also, she gives you lots of runes, which I really need to get all the magic powers I need. So, here I am in Dr. Galvani's offices. I'm here to steal some uh, infected rat meat, guts specifically, so that I can infect a, uh, I can infect Slackjaw's um, private uh, Wait, plague supply. Did you touch the door handle to First I've got to get past Galvani's these two. Yeah. Now uh, these are a young couple, due to, to be married, the rats get who uh, work together, apparently. He a guard, she a maid. Vital essences? He apparently really doesn't like rubbing his, um, rubbing his hands, washing so. his hands, even though he's so your hands need surrounded by You're infected unclean. rat meat all the time. I, I don't really understand it's why he'd say this is an argument, frankly. Well, I would, really I would just wash my hands. With rubbing alcohol or white vinegar. Like you don't want all to get right, the plague and die. Right. You become very annoying. Ambrose says he breeds rats that carry the plague. Your friends are ignorant. The doctor is a brilliant man. If anyone can save this city, it's him. The royal physician is going to save us. I hear his new elixir is twice as good against the plague. I don't understand how Galvani can admire Sokolov. Royal There's a little bit of exposition chat here, which is a proud tradition among um, non-player characters in cities haunted by magic ninjas. And he does in the laboratory. I have a lot of conversations like this, this actually. I just hang around like um, in kind of exposed areas and talk to my friends about just the status quo. I'm telling you uh, now, I don't have the Where keys are kept, for codes for things, you know, that kind of thing. Anyway. Now... I really would like to get through this without harming anyone, because, frankly, neither of these two people are directly involved, to the con involved in the conspiracy in any way. They're both doing their jobs. I just need to get in and out. I proved in the first video that I'm capable of, you know, pretty daring stealth when I need to be, so... Even if I can't climb pipes. So... It should just be a case of getting to... Ah. Uh, okay. I need a key. He had a key. That's fine. I'll just wait he's facing the other direction. And take it. Some rat cages there, which means that... Uh, that's just ridiculous. Oh, dear. Stupid rats. Right. I can't get out Plague. behind me, so hopefully Plague. he'll turn to the left Plague. now, because Crap. then I won't have to... Oh, shit. Sorry, buddy. No evidence. No trace. Etc. 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 I hope this doesn't hurt. Oh, that sounds like it hurts. Oh. Oh, dear. Oh, no. Oh, don't... Oh. Well, that's someone's fiancé dead. But, you know, no trace, etc, etc. I'm in the clear. Good. Alright. Now, um, generally... Oh, it's not even the right key. Oh, well. That was pointlessly cruel. Um, generally, I don't want to use Devouring Swarm in areas where it wouldn't make sense to do so, like the upper floors of posh houses, as opposed to the sewers or basements or whatever. In this case, I feel like it's fine. That was actually right next to some rat cages, and there's already a rumor that this guy's breeding plague rats. So a rat-eating corpse isn't necessarily going to be suspicious in this particular location. But generally, so you know, I am trying to think about critically about where I try and use that. Right now, I'm hunting for the uh, access point for Gavani's hidden lab, as opposed to his obvious lab, which is here. Um, having skim-read the notes and never done this mission before, um, I'm just going to spend a lot of time looking at fish, rat fetuses, reading notes. stealing things and um, wandering aimlessly, ignoring the fact that in the corner of this room there is a enormous bookcase with wheels, um, which is a clue, believe it or not. Wait for it, wait for it. You can almost watch the gears uh, turn in my brain at this point as I re rethink that earlier note. Don't dust the giant bookcase with wheels that has an enormous orange book on it and wheels and scratch marks on the floor and wheels. Almost as if it's a door and not a bookcase at all. 
Almost, 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 almost. And we have a winner. There's nothing secret about that. That is just a door that looks like a bookcase. Anyway. Rat guts get. Put them in my pants. Money, money, money. And what's in here? Piero's Remedy. Which is good, actually, because I need a lot of that. I'm testing a lot of spells in this playthrough. Tragically, I cannot close this giant door. If you find a way of closing this giant door, please do let me know in the comments. Maybe twice. Um, I do appreciate it when I'm wrong. And it should just be a case of leaving now. Straightforward. And... Someone's oh! Over there. How did you... Why, why are you here? I really... Oh, no. Can't someone help me? I feel genuinely bad about this. No, please. Help! In hindsight, help! it would have been kinder to just kill her and then, then use the rats. But I panicked and... Oh, God. Something that's becoming abundantly clear is that no trace doesn't necessarily mean not a dick. Um, in fact, avoiding conflict seems to be a way of actually forcing yourself into some pretty horrible situations. I've never had to kill innocents in Dishonored before, and, uh, yep, now I've, now I've fed a woman to some rats. Good. Anyway, uh, time to employ that knowledge against someone who does deserve it. Well, I say deserves it, all this man has done is wander around in the rain and be bitchy to a prisoner. Which, to be honest, doesn't warrant this either. Oh, he doesn't like that at all. He's not happy. Oh well. I'm sure Martin will appreciate it. What a sight you are in that mask. How do you know who I am? I know who you are and what you're here to do. How? You've been. It, oh. Unlock me and I'll buy I actually you have no idea how he knows that. Days. I don't by want a drink. I'll buy you a hundred drinks. I don't want a hundred drinks. Fine. I'm sure he won't talk for ages. To stand up straight. Thank you, Corvo. How did you know that? What you're and here to do tonight is of the highest importance. How do you know what I'm here to do? We've Stop got it. to find Emily. Yes, so I know. Kill Campbell Shh. Shh. and make it quick. Yes, and must make it an accident. Shh. Search his body for the journal. Yep. His notorious Someone said, black book. I know. And Shh. get out of there. Okay. Campbell is meeting with a guard named Kerna. Yep. And word from my informant is that Campbell is going to poison him. Okay. Maybe you can use that to your advantage. Uh, possibly, yes. Now, All go right, away. I won't be of any help here. So I know. I'll make my own way back to Good. the Good. Bye. Cheerio. I'm you the boat, man. I'll tell him the pit Okay, why are you still talking? Yep, okay, that's great. Jesus. Is he still... He is actually still talking. As he, as he, as he wanders off. Anyway. Oh, good. Another great exposition conversation happening over there. Two overseers just chose this moment to uh, discuss the Heretic's Brand, a way of non-lethally disposing of the High Overseer by sticking a giant branding iron on his face and having him cast out. And like many of the non-lethal approaches to Dishonored, it's not something I can really do in this playthrough because men don't knock themselves unconscious, strap themselves to chairs and get face brands. Actually, that totally does happen. It seems against the spirit of the thing, anyway. So, yeah. We'll kind of ignore that approach. Although I do appreciate their um, talking about it loudly in the street. This is another good way of bypassing entire segments of the game. A little bit of strategic climbing. Something I do know how to do. Now, I've done this previously and totally been spotted here, so it's kind of necessary to check the windows for guards. Not that I know what I'd do if I uh, did see a guard. This is pretty much the worst area in the world to attempt to use a devouring swarm convincingly, given that it's on the upper floor of a well-secured building. But yeah. So yes, Campbell's about to try and poison Kerno, who's the guard captain, and Callista's uncle. And this actually does give you a pretty straightforward way of making this look like an accident by swapping the poison over, uh, which is what I did in the original video, if you remember. But I don't really want to do that. It feels like a bit of a cop-out, and I've got a more creative idea in mind. So I'm just going to spill these. And then uh, accidentally pick up this bottle. Oh, no, put it back, put it back, put it back. Good, good, fine. Smooth. And now we wait. Right, so from doing this mission before, as I imagine most people watching this will have done, we know that if the glasses are spilled, then Campbell will have to improvise, and that'll mean taking Kerno down to... Ooh, hang on. Spong. 
It's the drinks bell. Now, this is never really explained in Dishonored. The bell rings three times, I think. It's clearly not three in the afternoon, and it's not three in the morning, I think, which means three bells means drinking? Drink o'clock? Perhaps it's Pim's o'clock. I don't know. It's a weird little unprofessional anomaly. As is the way he says, keep each other entertained, which is weirdly loaded, but I don't know what he could possibly mean. Anyway, for this plan, we need to beat them down to Campbell's secret chamber, so to speak. Corvo owes whoever designed the strongest chandeliers in existence a debt, a real debt, because um, without these massive metal chandeliers, so much of his greatest achievements would have been impossible. Smoothly down to the basement. And um, I have to find the second most obvious hidden room in this uh, mission. Oh, I wonder if I have to push the giant green eye. Yes. Yes, I do. Right. Now, earlier, when I first started using rats, I learned something pretty important about who you can and can't kill with them. This is the uh, first mission for Granny Rags, getting rid of her gentleman callers. Now you'll notice... Rats against one person, over pretty quickly. Rats against three people, or even two, not very effective, especially when you haven't upgraded it. They are capable of defending themselves through the time-honored means of yelling and waving. And it takes several goes before they'll uh, keel over. Now you notice a bit of synchronized waving there. This is actually a very uh, effective technique, although they do lose one man. Oh, there's two. Never stop yelling. Try again. Yeah, I suppose I'd scream as well. Ah! Sorry, just wanted to join in. Just a matter of time, buddy. Just a matter of time. Um, good. Now, still need to kill this guy. Where are you? Oh, drink a potion. Watch it. Somebody, get up there. Ah! Ah, rats! Again. This should stop being a surprise. Now this guy in the uh, the waistcoat has probably had the worst day of his life. I think he's just lost four friends to rats, and you'd think this would kind of scar a man, or at least very make, make you want to climb something. But but no, deal with them and uh, wander off. What an awful day! Anyway, this proves a point. You can't kill two people with one swarm of rats, and ideally, I don't want to use two swarms of rats because I don't want to kill Kerno. So I need a way of just taking out the high overseer. Now, this is a less secure part of the building. I feel no, you know, I've got no problem with... Oh, who would keep weaponized sedatives in his secret basement? I don't know. Anyway, this uh, window here on the right, look, is the perfect entry point for a big swarm of rats. So I've got no problem placing them there. But I do need to make sure that Campbell is the one who dies. So, see where they are. Dark vision's good for this, by the way, to see what progress they've made. Here they come down the stairs, Campbell in front, Kerno behind. Time to find a place to hide. I do need to also steal uh, Campbell's black book, which means I can't really leave the room or do this from outside because um, I need to be able to access his body after he dies. So time to find a place to hide away. Around the back of the sofa will be fine. Get my rat swarm in place. Completely feasible that they could have come in through the grill. And now we wait. Now, interestingly, you may have had this if you've been playing Dishonored. When rats eat, um, come across unconscious bodies, they kill them almost immediately, which is a good way of messing up your no kill playthrough. But in this case, it's very useful. Kerno will never have seen that happen. Sedative bolt comes out of nowhere, the rats prioritise the High Overseer, killing him almost instantly and giving Kerno time to run away. As far as Kerno's concerned, he just came downstairs with the Overseer completely innocently, they bumped into a swarm of rats, the Overseer was overwhelmed, and tragically lost his life. That, I think, is a way of acceptably leaving no trace. And no alarm has been raised. Kerno, who has clearly just legged it, Maybe feeling a little bit guilty that his thirst for Tivian Red has led a man to his death. 
and I can leave the way I came in. So, well, as soon as this man stops gazing up at the portrait of the Lord Regent that is in every building in Dunwall, Just garden the art. What a big art, he's thinking. Off you go. Come on. Ooh, capital stretch there. And you're off. So I'm going to skip ahead a little bit. Um, because really it's pretty much out the way I came in but it's um, worth noting that um, basically no one seems to have noticed or give a shit that Campbell's gone down to his secret sex and sedative dungeon and been my rat which probably says quite a lot about how he was regarded outside it's a uh, situation normal and I can leave at my leisure skip ahead again and yeah I mean this does demonstrate kind of being above things seems to be kind of overpowered and dishonored um, guards don't look up which to be honest with those masks on you probably understand now the first video I did I actually managed to do this pretty successfully with rats you kind of you can't sneak past this because that guy can see that bit on the right which is illuminated but a well-placed plague of rats can deal with both of the aggressive overseers and save the innocents while you make a clean getaway. So let's try that again. Yep. They do ham it up, the overseers. They like to chew a bit of scenery. Anyway, I can sort of get past. Hopefully they've gone straight for the evil overseers. Oh! Some very sonorous yelling there. They sound like Formula One cars. Oh, that sounded a lot like a woman being stabbed, which isn't how I wanted this to end. What I'm hoping hasn't just happened is I haven't just had her brother eaten by rats and given both overseers a clear shot at killing an innocent woman who they're claiming is a witch. That would be awful. And that would... Um... Yeah, I don't want that. That's um, all too many dead civilians. Oh, bugger. Okay. Oh well, you can't kill the High Overseer without breaking a few people, as no one has ever said. Bravest man in Dunwall checks under pipes for deadly man-eating rats. I think it'd be best if I left now. Are the new applicants as weak as the last set? No, no. But uh, before I do, I think I'll um, try out one of the powers I want to use a little bit more in future videos. Um, I'm going to pick up Possession, which will allow me to bypass almost the entire rest of this uh, area in a uh, rather useful way. The, um, the interesting thing about this is that there's a little bit of sort of there's some notes you can find that kind of detail the, the regard with which the overseers regard their heresy hunting dogs, um, and um, which is in no way demonstrated by uh, this. You'd think if these dogs were so important that this man would give more of a shit about the fact that his dog has just run away. Nope. Not interested. And in the form of a dog, I leave. So I can find a dark corner to um, emerge from the back of this dog. Which is not a phrase I ever thought I would say. But um, yeah, stumbles back into the to the world, wondering what had happened, but unable to fully raise the alarm because he is a dog. And it's a pretty straightforward run from here to Samuel the Boatman. So, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it, please rate and subscribe, and check back on Friday for the next episode of No Trace. Bye! Hey Corvo, it's Samuel.